hello everyone thank you for joining me for another video this week i wanted to share with you some lifestyle habits that i've changed and they've greatly helped me in my productivity they've helped me with anxiety and my overall well-being and i hope that they will help you in some way um, let's get this video started so first thing i do when i wake up is just sit down and take a minute to just be grateful an attitude of gratitude we really underestimate the value of saying thank you for all the troubles that we do not have for seeing a new day for a restful night it's not everyone that was blessed to see a new day and so i really don't take it for granted when i wake up in the morning and i'm of sound mind and my family is safe and healthy so i take a few minutes every morning to just sit be mindful and give thanks second i try to work out every single day for five days and then i take a rest on saturday and sunday working out has really helped me improve not only physically but also i feel good when i work out um, I'm, I guess it's the endorphins that are produced when you exercise. I really look forward to it. I don't see it as a task. Um, I've come to realize whatever it is you feed your mind, that is what your mind, you know, grows. And that's what it blows out of proportion. So if you think that working out is going to be painful and hard, well, it's going to be painful and hard. And if you look at it as a way of uh, treating your body as a temple that it is, and then you then you'll enjoy your workout so i work out five days a week monday to friday it doesn't have to be intense it just has to be a few minutes of proper working out um, feel your body move feel your body and at the same time i like to play some music when i'm working out kindly listening to salty soul's album midnight train so i work out to that and it kind of just puts me in a mood one thing I avoid doing in the morning is looking at my phone, checking emails, social media and all that stuff. I find it very distracting and it sometimes predetermines how my day is going to be. If I see an email that's not very good or pleasant, then I will just be in a mood. So I prefer to wake up and take care of myself first before I sit down to work. Because of the pandemic, most of us have been working from home, me included, uh, but I didn't stop my routine. I still do my full skincare routine in the morning. I also apply makeup sometimes if I want to feel extra cute. I still dress up as if I'm going to the office. I wear perfume. I brush my hair. And this has really helped me in my productivity because I feel like I've already shown up to do my best. And so there's no other option. I have to give my best. So I do like to get dressed in the morning because if I'm in pajamas or loungewear the whole day, I feel really, really slow. And I just want to lie down with a bag of chips and watch some TV. I also must mention when I am getting ready in the morning, when I'm doing my skincare and my makeup and I'm getting dressed, I like to do my affirmations. I like to be on high vibrations. I like to manifest things. And I like to do that with a cheerful heart. Um, affirmations and manifestations is just something that has become part of my life and I was telling a friend of mine that truly I think the life I'm living now is as a result of me believing that I can live this life so I try my best to focus on positive things to affirm positive things to speak into existence positive things and I found that this really keeps me on high vibrations and I attract a lot of positive things in my life on many occasions, I do something called intermittent fasting. It helped me shed a lot of weight, but it's also something that I continue doing because I feel like it helps in my metabolism. So on days that I am not intermittent fasting, I will have a very light breakfast. And when I'm having breakfast, I like to play Sudoku. Um, if you don't know about Sudoku, it's just a numbers puzzle, but I feel like it makes my brain to start you know working and put me in a problem solving mode and so i like to do that just do a, a puzzle or half a puzzle and as soon as i'm done i go straight to work
I am a mommy to a five-year-old boy and working from home has been a little bit tricky. So what I've decided to do, what I've been doing is when I'm doing my, my work in the morning, I also give him some work to do. It could be math, it could be English, it could be reading a storybook, but he sits next to me and we both do some work together um, i've realized that kids often mimic what the parents do and so when you tell him that it's now serious time he takes that very seriously and i i'm thankful that he enjoys sitting there and just doing his work I must mention that I like to do most of my hard tasks in the morning because I feel like that's when I'm most alert, that's when I'm most cognizant of what's happening. And so between the hours of 9 a.m. to around 1 p.m., I like to sit down and do, you know, all the difficult tasks then. And then I leave the afternoon for lighter work, for instance, replying emails, doing research on my next project, as well as I take this time in the afternoon to sharpen my skills. I am so thankful to platforms like Skillshare. I've spoken about Skillshare before. It is an online learning community that has classes on numerous things from business to freelance and entrepreneurship to blogging to content marketing everything you can think of creatively is on skillshare and currently i am learning about taking photography for my instagram i'm a content creator so i want to be self-sufficient and i've been taking a couple of pictures the class i took was very helpful it was by a photographer called hannah and i like that skillshare is very interactive more than just lecturing you on how to do it it's actually goal oriented so you end up practicing what it is that you're learning i will post a couple of pictures here that i've taken myself i'm so proud um and so yeah skillshare has just been a place where i have sharpened my skills whether it's in writing and now in photography and i'm so grateful for them they have been a wonderful partner they're currently sponsoring this video because they want you my subscriber to enjoy the benefits of skillshare so i will leave a link down below the first 1000 people to click on that link will get two months free skillshare premium subscription for you to spend your time wisely enjoy Another habit that I've also formed is rest. During the day, I like to take at least an hour's break away from my computer, away from any devices and just sit and enjoy something else. This could be reading a book or watering plants, stretching my legs, going outside for a walk or just sitting on my balcony and looking at the birds. I have found this to be really, really helpful because most of my morning or my day has been spent looking at screens, talking on the phone, typing things in. And so this little pocket of rest in between the day just helps me relax and be mindful of my surroundings. During the week, I also like to go to bed early so that I can have enough rest and wake up early. This simple routine has helped me manage my time, reduce my anxiety, and I'm not running around because I know what I'm supposed to be doing at what time. Just to add on to this, I want to encourage you guys to get help. Delegate where you can, and put on your to-do list only what you can. Spread out your tasks throughout the week so that you are not overwhelmed and running around. And this will help you greatly to achieve what you want. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more. Leave a comment and a thumbs up and I will catch you on my next one. Love and light. Peace.